You may have heard me talk about homeopathy in previous videos, but just in case you're new here, I'll give you the quick rundown. Homeopathy is a bullshit ideology that was invented in the 18th century by people who claimed that they could cure diseases by giving very minute amounts of a product that causes similar symptoms as the disease. And the substances are so minute that in the vast majority of cases, they're diluted right down to being just plain water without a single molecule remaining of the active ingredient. And the basis of that is that water has a memory. So if you, for instance, pee in the ocean, the ocean will always remember and never forgive. Just kidding. Uh, homeopathy actually has nothing to say about the forgiveness of water, just memory. For a long time, big alternative medicine has been getting away with a lot here in the United States, as the Federal Trade Commission and the Food and Drug Administration have allowed companies to sell homeopathic remedies over the counter, claiming to help all kinds of things from the common cold to nausea to earaches for babies, even though it is in fact only sugar water and there's absolutely no known mechanism by which it could possibly work, nor is there any evidence that it works. And by the way, when I say big alt-med, I'm not kidding. Uh, the alternative medicine industry is booming, and it's fully owned and operated pretty much by the same big pharma that drives gullible people to use alternative medicine in the first place. I'm excited to announce, though, that that's finally changing. The FTC has just released a statement requiring homeopathic remedies to carry labels, warning that there is absolutely no scientific evidence that they work. The FTC has clarified that unlike the past few decades, they're now actually going to stop companies from claiming that homeopathy can cure, well, anything. To be fair, this is not exactly a death blow for homeopathy. Homeopathy hasn't worked for the past 300 years, and it hasn't exactly been a secret that it hasn't worked. One of the more depressing facts that you may come away with after watching a lot of my YouTube videos is that marketing will pretty much always trump science. And yes, I understand that the word trump in that sentence is much more appropriate than ever, but please let's just move on because for once this isn't a political video and I'm very excited about that. So big alt-med will continue to find a way to sell sugar pills to naive people and naive people will continue to buy them even if the entire package is covered in a warning stating that sugar pills aren't going to cure anything. But it is an important first step in a governmental oversight organization actually overseeing misleading and dangerous products in an attempt to protect consumers. And yeah, homeopathic remedies can be dangerous. People can use them in place of real medicine, leading to serious complications from the disorders that they're attempting to remedy. But we can't accept, uh, we can't expect pharmacies to just suddenly stop selling homeopathy alongside real medicine, especially when those sugar pills are making them a lot of money. Uh, that's something that could happen in the future, but in the meanwhile, I think we just have to be really happy for baby steps like this. The FTC actually committing themselves to regulating homeopathy is a huge first step, and I'm really excited about it. And by the way, I will end this video with a plea for you to use real medicine that does work. Please get your flu shot. It's important for building herd immunity, and that protects the infants, seniors, and immunocompromised people that you come into contact with every day. It's important. Get your flu shot.